Good morning, Christ Church. It's Tom and Deanne. So it must be Wednesday. Um, in fact, it is Wednesday, November 18th. Thanks for joining us. This is morning prayer, right? Two. I was glad when they said to me, let us go, let us, let us go to the house of the Lord. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And now we skip to page 82, page 82 for the jubilate, the jubilate, which we will say together. Okay. Be joyful, Be joyful in the Lord, Lord all you lands. Serve, serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 101. Psalm 101. If you want to follow along with the psalm, you, it can be found on page uh, 730. Page 730 in the prayer book. We will read the psalm responsively by whole verse. Okay. I will sing of mercy and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I do not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors, I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. And only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. Those who act deceitfully shall not dwell in my house. And those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will soon destroy all the wicked in the land. That I might root out, that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we will read again Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. And we're on page now, page 94, page 94. O ruler, ruler of the universe, universe Lord, Lord God, great, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing, surpassing human understanding. understanding. Your ways, ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King, King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I see what you did. I know I started it, I'm sorry. It's early. <clears throat> okay. The gospel reading appointed for today comes from the gospel according to Luke, which we've been uh, reading together. Now we're on chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria, Samaria and Galilee. 
As he entered a village, 10 lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out saying, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he prostrated himself to at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not 10 made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we'll continue with the Apostles' Creed, which is on page 94. 94. I, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I think if those yawns can... Uh, translate all the way over into the uh, internet. <laughs> we'll see. You have to let us know if you're yawning. <laughs> we are on supper, sorry, suffrages B, B, uh, on page 98. Suffrages B. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, in you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Bring her up. I know, Scout, sometimes she hasn't come to be with us for the last few weeks, but... Here she is. That's Scout. This is Scout. She decided she wants to be here with us this morning. So we'll see if she behaves. We continue with Scout uh, and the collect of the day. Uh, the uh, collect of the day is comes from the feast of uh, Hilda, Hilda, abbess of <laughs> abbess of Whit Whitby, Whitby. And it goes like this, O oh God of peace, by whose grace the abbess Hilda was endowed with gifts of justice, prudence, and strength to rule as a wise mother over the nuns and monks of her household. Raise up, raise up these gifts in us that we follow in her example and prayers may build up one another in love to the benefit of your church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And, and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna say goodbye. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye. And we have the other dog, who's a jealous monster, is here with us too. They can just go. She doesn't want to go. Okay. What are we going to do? Prayer for mission. Yep. Okay. Prayer for mission on page one hundred. Hmm. Almighty, Almighty and everlasting, everlasting God. God. By, by whose spirit, spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed, governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. Thanks for our dogs, even though they're not very well behaved. But we still love them. And they make us happy. Yeah. They bring us joy. And we pray for uh, those of you who are have joined us uh, today. We hope that uh, your day today will be full of blessings. I'm thankful for scientists who have great vaccine news this week. I mean, it's going to be a while still, but I'm really excited about the science and about what will be coming our way um, as that, along with treatments, is the, the ticket towards emerging out of 2020 and into a better 2021. And I'm just thankful for all of the first responders who continue to be on the front lines um, as COVID is actually really surging. Um, we're back in the red in St. John's County. So everybody be careful. But thankful for those first responders and always praying for those uh, sick with COVID and those caring for them. We're uh, really in, uh, in love with um, science in our house. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. And as always, we pray for Christ Church mm -hmm. and um, for the lay leaders that uh, lead us along with the clergy and for um, all of those uh, lay ministers and others who um, join us in this great work of love uh, that we call Christ Church. Mm -hmm. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And let's go on to page 101 for the general thanksgiving. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, God, Father, Father of, of all mercies, mercies we, we, your unworthy God, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day, a great rest of your week, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, either in person or online. Okay. See you later. Thanks. Bye-bye. Scout Peter. <laughs>